So welcome back to more Mega Man 6, and here we're taking on the last of the Robot Masters. Now we get to go to Greece to take on Centaur Man. That's all I got, I call it the Ancient City. And I guess Greece has been flooded for some reason. Yeah, this is gonna be the obligatory water level. Or, um... Let's see, you do have to deal with all sorts of weird physics here. Lots of enemies that like to drop stuff on you. As well as a lot of tricky jumps. So this is actually a pretty challenging stage to deal with. In terms of just the tough jumps. I missed him. I gotta wait for him to blow up. Oh, that's not very funny. Um... Let's see, this part's gonna be a little bit tricky, so... I'm just gonna break out the flame blast. Yes, shooting a fire weapon underwater gets your jokes out right now. And, of course, we have to have one of these sections where we have to make the jump correctly. Otherwise, we hit the spikes. Uh, you know what? I might as well show off what the Night Crush can do. Overall, it's a pretty decent weapon. I do like using it. Just to deal with these guys. And it is uh, gonna be Centaur Man's weakness, so I kinda don't wanna waste it. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get this back. Alright, now that that's done with, uh, let's see, a few more tricky jumps to deal with. And what I do like about this stage is it does throw a lot of different things at you. Such as this section that would cause all physicists to shit their pants in uh, disbelief. And, uh, let's see, the trick with this section is that you have to jump when the water's at its lowest. And then, um... That's where you uh, get more air out of your jumps. Or you can just cheese through it with Rush Jet, and that's a lot easier. And Eddie's here. And let's see, how many E-Tanks is that for me? I gotta check again. And you know what, I think I'm just gonna cheese this part. Um... Let's see, those submarines work pretty much the same way as those bullet bills in Snake Man stage. Where, um, after you shoot the cloud, they just, uh, appear. So let's just do this the easy way. And, uh, here you just have to time your jump properly. And I do think that even though this is a weird level, it is pretty creative. And, um, here's our first encounter with a mini-boss. So let's just try and, uh, do this with a flame blast. And yeah, I was using turbo for those of you wondering. Um, let's see, here's your uh, choice with the alternate bosses. Obviously you need the rush jet in order to uh, get going up here. And um, Centaur Man himself is actually pretty easy. What you have to worry about is just whenever he likes to freeze you. Because you have to have one of those weapons in every Mega Man game. But here we are against Centaur Man and he likes to appear and disappear. Sometimes he likes to appear on top of you. And unfortunately, it is pretty tough to jump over him, so I am just going to take my shot at it. And the centaur flash freezes you, and let's see, it is pretty easy for that bouncing shot to hit you. But his weakness is the Night Crush, so if you stay close enough to him, he's uh, pretty easy to deal with. Very good, a uh okay weapon, the Centaur Flash. It's uh, actually pretty similar to the Gravity Hold in Mega Man 5. Where after you use it, sometimes enemies disappear and sometimes they don't. I think you might be able to freeze enemies with it too. Never really used it much outside of boss fights. Such as our next target, which is gonna be Wind Man. And this is gonna take place in China. So go figure, everybody else is using alternate fuels. And they're getting ahead because of it. Then again, that's what happens when your country belongs to oil companies, but... I'm getting off on a tangent here. Let's see, those uh, pandas are pretty easy to deal with. You just uh, watch out for that one shot and then... Um, just uh, shoot them on the way down. 
Let's see, that's a good practice section for those fans because we're going to be seeing plenty of those things throughout this stage. So what I'm going to do is just break out the rust jet and then just try and cheese it that way. And uh, let's see, the thing is, it goes down then up. So you do have to watch out for that. And also, if you are jumping when you uh, get to the fans, then you get thrown up much faster. Or you get thrown up much faster. That's what I meant to say. And with these platforms, whenever you uh, jump on them or land on them, they uh, switch over. So you do just want to keep that in mind and uh, just make sure you time your jump properly. And this part, I want that life. Because usually I end up dying at least once on the fans in this stage. So let's just get going here. And uh, the panda can shoot in two ways. Either that uh, easy way with uh, black shot and then the uh, other one with uh, straight ahead shot. Or that looping shot, whatever you call it. Yeah, this uh, big guy is pretty easy to deal with. Because uh, pretty soon we're coming up to the uh, tough part of this level. And that's going to be the uh, part where you have to worry about fans and spikes and pits and all this fun stuff rolled into one. So let's just go ahead and get this guy out of the way. And yeah, that's where it gets tricky. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break out Rush Jet. And try and do that. Eh, might as well just power up. But yeah, I mean, that part can cause them a, a lot of death early on, and it is pretty easy to uh, get yourself killed plenty of times on that part. But then again, the game does give you plenty of opportunities to practice it before you uh, get to that section. But it's pretty easy to get tripped up when you're trying to do a speed run. And uh, here we are in Windman, and uh, Windman's pattern's pretty easy. In fact, uh, a lot of people actually take him on first. His weakness is the Centaur Flash, but you can beat him pretty easily with a Mega Buster. Uh, he either shoots those fans, or he uh, likes to suck you in, or tries to land on top of you. But here we got a completely irrelevant weapon. This is gonna be the windstorm. I mean, it would have made sense if you were like shooting fans at people or anything, but now instead you get this little dinky tornado. So now off to our last robot master, and this is gonna be Blizzard Man. No, I find it ironic that it's powered by solar energy and you're on a frozen island. But then again, here we are in uh, the Great White North in Canada. We're, um... Let's see, we're just gonna have to take on a bunch of seals, a bunch of camera guys. And uh, those seals are actually pretty similar to uh, Uranus's seals in Mega Man V for Game Boy. Let's see, this part's actually kind of tricky to come by, so... What I need to do is melt the walls with Flame Blast. And then get the uh, Rush Jet up. Let's just do this. And also the thing with those bombs is that uh, whenever you trigger them, they just count down really quickly and then go off. Also, it is really easy to get stuck on uh, one of those bombs. Let's see, I'm trying to make this. And I ended up making that somehow. So let's just get rush power going here. And get myself an extra life. Always fun. I also like how you can just uh, smack these guys and then um, just send them flying the other way. So let's get the flame blast going. Man, that was simple enough. I kind of don't want to waste too much flame blast because, as you know, Blizzard Man's weakness is the flame blast. But this guy's not that tough regardless. 
and I end up hitting him at the same time. Well, that was nice of him. Okay, let's just uh, get going here. Um, yeah, I think I want to use this. And just get going here. And uh, this is probably the tricky part of the level. And uh, you're on this ship. And the thing with the ship is that it uh, floats up and down. And that turn guard likes to face the wrong way. Then again, that won't be the last time we see that. So let's just get going here. Yeah, just don't want to jump too high or too low. So, you know what, let's show off the windstorm now. That's just a little effect that happens whenever you kill somebody with it. You don't actually kill them, you just float them off into God knows where. So, I just need to break this block and then uh, get up here and find some cool stuff. And see, this is the tricky part because you have to mine spikes on both sides. And just make sure you get there at the right spot. Alright, just like that. So just gotta make these jumps. And the good thing is you can always use Rush Jet in that section just to help yourself out. And uh, that's actually one of the reasons why I went to Blizzard Man last is uh, just because I wanted to... Uh, have Rush Jet on me in case that stuff happened. That's why I want to use Rush Jet here. Because uh, this part you have to uh, activate the bomb on the le or on the right from the side and then you have to jump on the other one. I mean it's not that tough to figure out but it is pretty easy to screw up that jump especially with uh, narrow ledges and ice and all that fun stuff. Well, regardless, here we are at Blizzard Man, and Blizzard Man has a pretty basic pattern where he either likes to roll up into a ball and attack you, or snowball attack you, and then he uses the Blizzard attack, which summons a bunch of snowflakes. And, uh, let's see, I just need to take care of this guy handily. Getting a lot of bad slow down there, but fortunately it wasn't too bad. Let's just collect our final weapon here. And that's gonna be the blizzard attack where... It's a little bit more controlled than the one blizzard man used. So at least that helps out a bit. I mean, it's still pretty tough to hit enemies with it, but... Sometimes it is pretty useful. Especially with enemies from behind. But with that, I am going to call the video, so join me next time as we take out Mr. X. Quote unquote. See you then.